yeah, so this is uh, Dole, Five a Day Adventures. Um, so from what I know of Dole, Dole was, um, it's like a canned food company. Um, <clears throat> also a colloquial term for um, unemployment benefits in Australia. So if you're getting benefits, you're on the Dole, as we say. And you're also eating the um, canned food, because that's all you can fucking afford on unemployment benefits. Um, let's let's pull it up and let's have a look, shall we? Um, get rid of that and boot this up. I I'm guessing this is like an educational one teaching you about the food groups, but yeah, not sure yet. Um, you gonna you gonna boot up? There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, oh, this looks terrible. Five already. a day adventures is sponsored by the Dole Food Company. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. One but... and you got your start now too. All this fruit, it's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Nutrition education provided technical assistance for the development of the nutrition content of this program. Oh, that's this good. This educational product was designed and produced by Interactive Design and Development Incorporated and the Dole Food Company. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so we have adventures, travel tips, and we can just leave. Uh, what's travel tips entail? Let's have a look. Explore the screen by moving the cursor. When the cursor changes from an arrow to a hand, click to see what happens. Oh, okay, just so like the standard um, thing, uh, standard, you know, interactive storybook Hi, stuff. I'm oh. Amber Orange, and I'm one of the most popular fruits in America. Good for you. Orange you found a clickable area. Okay. That's how the program works. Whenever the cursor changes from an arrow to a hand, you can click to see what happens. Now, click on More Travel Tips. Okay. These are the icons used in Five A Day Adventure. Oh, we have Banana Click Boulevard. on any of them now to find out how they work in the program. Click on Return when you are ready to leave. Yeah, okay. <laughs> can't put it all the way up here, though. Uh, glossary Tokens Challenge Hints Jukebox. Yeah, righto. All right, let's go on an adventure, then. <laughs> okay. So, hey there, dudes. Like I'm Bobby Banana. I'm so glad you could drop into our town. It's like it's like really great to see you. You know, Banana Boulevard is one way cool place here. You know, okay, Bobby. But I know you usually want to check that so peeled, Click on uh, any of the building doors. I'm like, get going. Anyway, uh, so what have we got? Adventure Theater, Roots and Vegetables speak up. Um, HB's Body Shop. We can leave. Oh, this is about as um about as bad as Ninja Nanny, isn't it? Leafy Green Travel Agency, the land of five a day. Or the cook's kitchen. Let's let's try the cook's kitchen first. <laughs> um Hi there. I'm Ray Raisin, and I'm here to help you find some new ways to get your five a day. There's time to look at the recipe cards I have here in the kitchen. Remember, be sure to wash your hands and food before preparing anything. Go ahead, click on one of the appliances. Oh, okay, we can cook some food, I suppose. Well, um, Be sure to wash your hands and food before preparing anything. Yeah, yeah, that's what we did. Oh, and it's just the colored areas that we can work on. This okay. pizza makes for a terrific lunch or dinner. Give it a try. Um, so what do we got? Three quarters cup of pizza sauce, Italian pizza shell, so I'm presuming, you know, um, like a pre-cooked base or something like that. Broccoli, carrots, bell peppers. Low fat mozzarella or reduced fat cheddar. Okay. Um <clears throat> put pizza shell on cookie sheet. Yeah. What do five pieces of fruit give you in regards to nutrition though? Also Is that a fucking vegetarian pizza? Yes, it is a spunky vegetarian pizza. Make six servings. To safely use the oven, be sure that you have permission. And make sure to use hot pads or oven mitts to protect your hands when you're taking food out of the oven. Oh, that looks awful, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a legit just broccoli and cheese and shredded carrots. Funky vegetable <laughs> pizza is a pizza great way to eat lots of veggies, and it's fun to make. Once you've measured all the ingredients, turn the oven on to 450 degrees. Uh, excuse me, no, you preheat sure your oven. Be sure knows that you're using the oven. And do you prep as it's heating. Hot pads or oven mitts. 
take the pizza sauce and smear it onto the pizza shell with a big spoon. And then put the pizza shell onto a cookie you wanna, sheet. You want to wear a hairnet, darling? Like, you, you're going to get some very long, dark hair in that pizza. Cheese. Put the pizza into the oven and make sure you use a pot holder. Set the timer for 10 minutes. After the pizza is done, cut it up and serve it. Ah. Each piece of the pizza counts as one serving of your five a day. Oh, each... <laughs> so by rights, the entire pizza is like six servings of veggies. Yeah. Yeah, right, eh? Um, do we get anything else? This pizza makes for a terrific lunch or dinner. Give it a try. No, I'm good. I'm good. I got... I had frittata for breakfast this morning, so I'm good. Um, These right. are a great snack Oh, anytime. some, some sweet-ass chicken nuggies, um, which apparently is... Uh, Okay, no, I, I want to see what's involved here. To simply here. use the oven, no, we, be sure we that you have permission how to use an and oven. make sure to use hot pads or oven mitts to protect your hands when you are taking food out of the oven. Yeah, all right. Um, hang on, two or three. Do we skip through the? These are a great snack anytime. Oh, uh, uh, oh, okay, okay. So, oh, thank fuck. I was hoping it was, it, yeah, it was. We at least have chicken in the chicken nuggets. Um, oh yeah, crushed cornflakes, milk, egg, your breading. Oh, and you make your own sauce. So crushed pineapple and juice, cornstarch, orange juice, barbecue sauce. Yeah, righto. Okay, uh, that's straightforward. I was hoping for another are a video snack for the chicken nuggies anyway. Muffins are an easy take-along snack. Makes 48 mini muffins. Hmm. Muffins are an easy take-along snack. To safely use the oven, be sure that you have permission and make sure to use hot pads or oven mitts to protect your hands when you are taking food out of the oven. Sorry, I got something irritating my throat at the moment. Um, is that all we can do for cooking though? Get your day started with this fruity parfait. Ooh. Um, no, no video Get for Get your day though. started with this fruity parfait. That certainly is fruity. Uh, anything else we can Pint-sized banana raisin pancakes are a great way to start your day. Ooh, that actually looks pretty good. Uh, Pint-sized banana raisin pancakes are a great way to start your day. Oh, that's lazy, just having pancake mix with your stuff mixed in. Warm tropical fruit topping. Yeah, right, eh? Pint-sized banana raisin pancakes. Pint-sized banana raisin pancakes are a great way. Pint-sized banana raisin pancakes are a great way to start your. This is a great topping for everything, not just oh. breakfast food. Oh, so we're skipping through stir the pages. Stir-fry is a great meal for everyone. Yeah, yeah, no, stir-fry is pretty good. This is a great family meal. Ask an adult for help. Oh, what's what's involved with this one? This is a great family meal. Ask an adult for help. Turkey, bell pepper, tomatoes. Reduced sodium chicken broth. Yeah, right, eh? Um, yeah, okay. What else we got? This is a great dessert for a party. Shimmering This is a great fruit. dessert for a party. Oh, yeah, make your own uh, jelly mold. <laughs> this game, man. This soup will help satisfy a big appetite. I'm, I'm sure it will. Um, so what else we got? Get your day started with parfait. this fruity parfait. Bananas will give you lots of energy and power. Yeah, pretty much vegetarian dishes all the way through. Yeah, and the, I'm, I'm presuming they're they're expecting you to, you know, use uh, dull fruit and vegetable. Oh, we get an actual video for this one. Oh, what look at that hair, though. What a way to get started on your five a day. The fruit and juice shake is really easy to make and tastes great. This recipe is so easy because all you need is some strawberries, a little vanilla yogurt to make it really thick, a banana, and to make it naturally yeah, you still sweet, need a blender, just a blender's hundred bucks. Make sure to turn it on while your blender. hand is in there. Put the lid on. Yep, and you need your five-a-day servings of uh, and blood and flesh as well. Remember, never put your hands or any utensils inside the blender. When oh, they're saying not on. to. Okay. Now you have a great tasting, healthy shake for two that counts as one and a half servings of your five a day. I we used to have glasses like that, and they always sat at the back of the cupboard because. You only ever used them for like, you know, fans. Oh, like if you wanted to impress people, it's legit all you'd use it for. Bananas will give you lots of energy and power. Ooh, pineapple juice make you come taste nice too. Add some sunshine to your day and munch a bunch. Uh, fucking, hang on. Carrot and raisins, sunshine salad. Carrots, raisins, yogurt, a little bit of iceberg lettuce. Okay. 
Add some sunshine to your day and munch a bunch. No, no, that looks terrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. let's see some microwave dishes, Nuke shall we? Nuke some carrots and try some of these tasty <laughs> toppings. <laughs> microwave carrots. Okay. Nuke some carrots and try some no, of these tasty toppings. Nuke some carrots, carrots and try some of these tasty toppings. Nuke some broccoli and try some of these tasty <laughs> toppings. That's all you can make in the microwave. Just microwave carrots and broccoli. Yeah, righto. What looks like a tree is high in vitamin C and good for you and me. Broccoli. Oh, God, we got to see the video for this. Trees in a broccoli forest is a great Ooh, snack and well. fun to make. It makes enough to eat for four people and counts as one and a half servings of your five a day. <clears throat> there are two parts to this recipe. First, you need to make the dip for the trees. And then you need <laughs> I love to that they the cut trees. away from it, trying to put Use the, the honey into the bowl. Use the carrots you prepared to make up the trunk. And to create the tops of the trees, hold the head of broccoli in your hand and tear off the florets. For a little color, Arrange the cherry tomatoes at the top of the plate, and at the base of the carrot trunk, spread the dip around no, to make no it look like a No, fucking toddler's gonna eat all this shit. Sprinkle a bit of the parsley on top of the dip for some grass, and you have... Trees in a broccoli forest. Oh, with just, like, what, cheese sauce? Is that what the bottom bit is? What looks like a tree is high oh, in vitamin C, and, and good for you and me. Broccoli! Okay. No, that's, that's terrible. Um, you can help your friends get five a day by sharing this melody. You can help your friends melodies. get five a day oh, by yeah, sharing this melody. This one. Oh, no, um, no audio for this one, though. No? Oh, yeah, but a couple of dates. Copious honey and cheese sauce should not be an idea for uh, being healthy with five-day foods. This is true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very slowly cut the banana. Um, No audio for this one, though. Is this one of the Wiggles? Is this young Jeff? Um, no. Oh, is this this is taking control of my um thing away from me too? Okay. Oh, you, so you're just making dip and putting rando fruit around it? Don't you fucking skimp on the dates a bit. Dates are expensive, dude. Uh, what else? Quench your thirst with this tropical fruit punch. Oh no, no video for the fruit punch though. This salad adds a lot of color to your day. Oh yeah. Radish. Burritos are as fun to make as they are to eat. Ugh, vegetarian burritos though. You can help your friends get okay. five a day by sh have you had your five today? Um uh I've had no, I have. I have a serve of fruit. Uh not fruit, veggies. I had um peppers and mushrooms in my uh, frittata. Um, okay, what's the... What's the Welcome jukebox? to Five A Day Top Tunes. Oh, God. Make your selection now. Top tunes of, uh, songs about broccoli. Let's have a listen. <laughs> oh, there's video with it, though. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Terrible video, though. I was actually, I, I haven't had a chance to point it out, but um, someone made a point the other day about, um, like, the Arthur cartoons. The fact that everyone's got their ears up here, but they always have their headphones down here. I'm presuming if Broccoli had ears, the, the headphones would actually be correct on this thing. I would kind of love it if, like, whoever came up with the songs for this also did the ones for, um, the Wendy's training videos. They got that kind of feel to them. They're making Arthur, not reinventing furry physics. Yeah, I suppose. I still haven't seen last season yet. I can't find it anywhere. It looked terrible, though. Like, they did... Apparently, the last episode is just all of them growing up in their new jobs. Like... <laughs> yeah, leave that to the fur F's. Straight. <clears throat> oh, there's a, this is a whole song, too. Wow. Oh, is it te this technically meant to be karaoke as well? Okay. Broccoli. Um, no, I gotta see what the FMV job jumps entail. No, we saw this one at the start. 
healthy buddy song. I also want to learn about fiber after this one. I, I do like my fiber nowadays. Okay. Hey, and is this Bobby? Is this a badly drawn Bobby from Bobby's World? just good in general because you can put fucking shit tons of coffee and sugar in it. Alright, I want to learn about fiber now. Do you want to see the music video or the words as the song plays? Oh no, I definitely want some words in this. I want to be able to sing along. Go on, ape shit on the dates. Oh, we got dates and prunes fiber in this one. Is in the right direction, fiber. Helps you get along, fiber. Yeah. Oh, that, they had to pay the kid to do that one. It's one of those things we need every day. Yeah, no kid it's likes simple, fucking prunes, easy, that's for sure. And we like to say it helps with digestion, and that's at the core. We get it from apples. No, no mentions of the fiber. benefits of like it's being able to poo right good. Fiber. That's what fiber's helps good for. It helps you with digestion. Fiber hey, they're reusing the um, video from the other bits. Raspberries, apples, bananas, and pears. Don't forget kiwi. There's fiber in there. Should I have so not have kiwi fruit today. for a while? You know you should. Fiber, they will have you feeling so good. <laughs> Look, <Fiber laughs> the action shot of just in the right direction. jumping fiber. down for lunch and eating that banana. Though. Helps you get along. Fiber. Oh, that's boring. Like, don't get me wrong, I love my spinach too, but... It helps you with digestion. Fiber's just a little song. Fiber is in the right direction. Fiber. This is this has been going for a while. All right, no, I, they're just repeating the things now. Um, oh, this goes straight. No, let's let's go back to Banana Boulevard. Should be the banana, <laughs> the Boulevard of Banana Broken Dreams, though. Once upon a time in the land of five a day, what is healthy this girls like? and boys would come to play. They played in the fields, they played in the trees, they <laughs> swam in the rivers. I'm and just looking at the um because I've got um launch box behind the, the window here, and apparently the uh, publisher for this for was um, Softkey Multimedia. Clicking on the road, uh, they actually the bought out Rodebund and a um, couple it's other devs. Castle. It Mainly, will take you yeah, on a they journey. bought it the um, yeah, Brighterborn after Living Books happened because they they were just doing these trash, um, you know, yeah, like bargain bin educational games, much like this one. Oh, um, what's what's going on here? Oh, we're we're in the land of five a day, okay. Oh, there's a story here though. I've got a little story for oh you my about God. five a day. It that's, all begins uh, once upon a time. When you are ready for me to begin, just turn the page. Are we ready, chat? Are we ready for this garbage to begin? Let's do it. Oh, do I have, I have to read this, though? Once upon no, a good. time, in the land of five a day, the wise <clears> boys <throat> and girls ate five fruits and vegetables every day. Fucking but ready. There were people who yeah. lived outside the land who did not eat fruits and vegetables each day. Oh, okay, I have to keep clicking. 
for them to read it. The wise boys and girls in the land of five a day understood that eating five fruits and vegetables every day is an important part of a healthy life. They wanted to tell everyone the good news, so they decided to all work together and tell everyone what they had learned. Oh, I can't click on this, though. They decided to paint a picture of the sun rising behind a group of fruits and vegetables and to write five a day for better health on the picture. A lot of people saw this picture and were reminded to eat their fruits and vegetables. That's all it takes, just tell the kids to eat five a day and they'll eat five a day. No, that, that doesn't seem right to me. The picture these kids painted became so popular that it is on packages and, yeah, in Yeah, I think now jacking themselves the off about this. They are tooting their own horn. And the words by the day <laughs> for better picture, health though. are easy to remember. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you see this picture, it reminds you to eat five fruits and vegetables each day. This story is really simple, and you can tell others about five a day. Each time you see this picture, remember to eat five fruits and vegetables every day. Yep, tell your parents. Tell, tell your, your parents. Friends. Tell your friends. Five a day are the magic words. <laughs> Dad, you've got to have your five a day. Five beers a day. Yeah, right, I son. I will do. If I can smash them. Oh, let's... It, what is going... Okay, what... No, I've got to take this picture in first. We have... The terrible supermarket, um, some sort of jungle over here. Terrible forest with fruit and gardening. 100% um, juice. Uh, there's a magic castle over here. Can't click on anything um, except... Yeah, what's over? Ah! Hi! We all know about the Great Pyramids of Egypt, right? Yes, of oh. course we do. They're famous. Well, did you know that we dates are as old as the Egyptian pyramids? That's right. Dates have been around for a long, long time. Over 5,000 years to be exact. And since I know so much about pyramids, the other fruity dudes chose me to tell you all about another the great pyramid. Dudes. It's famous too. These dudes are this indeed fruity. This pyramid doesn't have any mummies. Actually, it's full of food. And it's not so old. In fact, it's pretty new. This is the Great Food Pyramid. It tells you what to eat every day. If we know the parts of the pyramid, it can help us make good food choices. Let's look at each part real close. And this is this thing's kind of out of date now, isn't it? Because like, yeah, there's shit tons of carbs in your your pasta and bread and shit. It's not really a good dieting solution. Yes, you get a lot of energy, but you get a lot of Let's other shit with it Let's look at the largest too. part first: the base of the pyramid. And it's definitely you something, something you can't base. touch if you're doing um, it's bread, keto diets cereals, or anything like that. It's bread, cereals, rice, and pastas. Yeah, just too you know, like cars. oatmeal, spaghetti, macaroni, <laughs> or hamburger buns. That's we it, can have more servings from this group than any other group. Every day, eat between 6 and 11 servings of foods from the bread and cereal group. And even That's as a kid, like, I, I thought that was, like, Breads too much. and cereals are at the too base of the food. pyramid because they form the foundation of your healthy eating habits. Click on your favorite item. Yeah, I do like my pasta, I must admit. Good for you. I like pasta, too. Huh. Look closely at everything that belongs in this section. Do, do we have when to? When you select the challenge, I'll ask you to show me where every item in the pyramid goes. So be ready. Oh, um... Okay. Just click on the next level button when you are ready. Okay. By the day. Oh, there's like a little Calypso song. I don't know, it's a little hard to see on the, um, oh boy, the actual stream this video, is my but yeah, there's some serious um, That's us fruits and vegetables dithering and shit going here. along. The, we um, fruits and vegetables I'm pretty come sure this from is 256 And colors. we're rich in vitamins, minerals, Looks and fiber. Looks terrible on my end. Eat at least five servings of fruits and vegetables every day. It's three to five servings of vegetables and two to four servings of fruits each day. When yeah, we say five a day, fruit, we're talking about us fruits and that. vegetables. I bet you can remember that. Yeah, like I actually remember having a friend from work who was on a, um, or like the, uh, he had diabetes, but it was the ones you can control with your diet. And 
literally couldn't have any fruit other than pears. That's literally all he could have. Um, Three is more than halfway there. Two more for today. Oh, okay. Remember, it's five a day from these two groups. Yeah, when you're whatever. ready for the next level, just click on next. Okay. You heard that right. This part contains the dairy foods. It's where the low-fat milk and yogurt and mm. low-fat cheese are found. You need two to three servings of low-fat dairy no one foods likes every low day. Fat milk, though. No one likes you do low drink fat your milk cheese. every day, don't you? No flavor Wanna to it. Want to see what other group is also on this level? Just click next. Probably the fat's mine. Hello, so like oh, no, Pete. Hey, quiet down, guys. I have to tell the kids about this section. Well, let me some dairy okay, food. So I definitely okay. have free steaks this to get my intake of dairy meat, food. Yeah. Poultry, fish, and eggs are found. Also, dried beans and peas are in this group because they're high in protein and a good substitute for meat. As you can see, this part is smaller than the ones below it on the pyramid, and that means you need fewer servings from this group. Two to three servings Again, each day. Again, more servings if when you're, you're on ready for this last <laughs> section. No. Just click the mouse. <laughs> this is the very top of the pyramid. It's the smallest section, so you know what that means. You need to limit no, what you eat. No, you've gone too fucking section. far. Beans are not this a good where substitute. This soda pop, candy, yep. butter, margarine, not, and mushrooms sweet desserts are, okay. are found. But yeah, you still Choose like I'll, I'll have mushrooms once in a while, with meat, like and all day every day. Amounts. <laughs> you fucking but I lying bet you already knew that. Yeah, let's. Can we bring so him back up on screen? Because he was like a boxer. If you know the parts of the pyramid, it can something. help you make good food Put choices. Put a few holes in him. When you think about what foods to choose every day, think first about breads and cereals and fruits and vegetables. Then choose low-fat dairy foods and lean meats, poultry, and fish. So where does you coffee have come in this? Because I've had, probably had more serves of coffee today okay than I have for like anything else. Have fun, but don't forget uh, about Pyramid which, I Land. Think I've come back made and a visit coffee with and me again. To bring it in with me. Probably just sitting in the kitchen at the moment. Anyway, enough of the food pyramid. It's all lies anyway. Um. Well, so yeah, let's let's have a look at some labels. Why Welcome, not? kids, to Label Land. Oh my God! I'm standing here, high above the land of five a day, to show you some very important facts that you really need to know about us fruits and vegetables that come with labels. See my label? It says 100%. I think we need juice. to eliminate I'm proud the juice. To say that I'm the best. Always look for 100% juice on the front label of any can, carton, or bottle of juice. Like this billboard? We figured a message this important needed to be up where everyone could see it. Let's take a closer look. This can be fun. Really? It's like being a detective. You have to look for the clues for the really good news. Just choose a package and let's take a closer look. Well, that's the thing. I, I, I look at labels on foods these days not to see, like, the nutritional value. It's so I know um, whether it's been packed and produced in Australia because that's one of the things we have. Like those berries? Most everyone does. For frozen fruit to be the best, always look for no sugar added. Next time you go shopping, look carefully at the packages. See how many frozen fruits you can find that say <laughs> no sugar is that added. Though? Um, yeah, right. Okay, the juice, my personal favorite. One hundred percent fruit juice I is the best juice you can have. Remember, juice. one small glass of one hundred percent fruit juice counts as one of your five a day servings. Yes, it actually does. Look for canned fruit that says no sugar added or packed in its own juice. That way you know you're getting just fruit and a little juice, and that's good. Here in the land of five a day, we like our fruit and... Shut up. Can you find the clue on the label? That's funny. There is nothing there but the name of the vegetable. That is exactly right. You want your vegetables plain, just veggies. No butter or extra sauces, but, just plain veggies. But butter sauce. This is the way to do it, and I like they butter taste sauce. great. Fuck it, I'll put my own cheese and butter sauce on it. Douchebag bloody juice thing. Yeah. Anyway, what's in the what's in this? Oh, oh god! Look at the quality of this supermarket. Do we? Are we you can find ah! vegetables in many different sections of the grocery store. Check out the produce section, the canned food aisle, the dried food aisle, and the frozen <laughs> food cases for so. fruits, vegetables, and juices. Click the area you wish to explore. Uh, excuse me, I think you'll find that the um, these plastic bags you put your produce in are not safe for the environment. We don't have them anymore. Got to put it in plastic bags. Click on the supermarket button to return to well, the market. Well, they got to be biodegradable plastic. Fresh fruits and vegetables are found in the produce section of grocery stores, which is usually easy to find because of the bright green, red, yellow, and orange colors of the fruits and vegetables. 
There are five areas in fresh produce for you to investigate. Go ahead, get started. Do, do we have to though? Um, right. What are these tomatoes? Like? Some items, such as oranges, tomatoes, and grapefruit, may be found loose in bins or already in bags or packages. <laughs> already in the trash. Okay. Some items, such as oranges, no, tomatoes, just, and grapefruit, may be found loose in bins or already in bags or packages. So what's the point of telling the kids about this, though? Some produce may need cool temperatures or moisture to stay fresh and crispy. Examples would be broccoli, spinach, green peppers, cantaloupe, and watermelon. Or you could just, you know, wrap them in plastic like they normally do. Try exploring the produce section of your no. store. You'll probably find some fruits and vegetables you hadn't really noticed or tried before. You Explore might want your to pick fresh produce section of the supermarket, but to stay away from that creepy man offering you candy. With so many fresh fruits and vegetables to try, it'll be easy and fun to get your five a day. That fucking face, though. These, these, these mascots are going to haunt my nightmares, I'm sure. Most grocery stores have several rows green, of canned green. fruits and vegetables. There's so many the different varieties PDT. you can try. Can you find the three cans with a story to tell? They have stories. The method of canning oh, was invented God. in the late 1700s <laughs> by a Frenchman as a way to preserve I've food in the French the, army. I've the, the educational the process of canning, content. Fruits and vegetables can be no. kept in cans a long time without spoiling. Canned fruits and vegetables are easy to prepare. Generally, you just need to heat yep. the vegetable Typical before Typical weak-ass French. Can't eat rotting food like fucking real men. Oh, this... Okay. Oh, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> the little box of... The, the, this is apparently steam coming off the beans. Okay. Canned fruit is always ready to eat. And it's always good for you when it says, No sugar added. If you want a great after-school snack, just open a can of fruit. You better eat all that fruit, Billy. I don't want half empty cans in the you fucking fridge. You can buy canned juices that taste just like the fruit itself, such as pineapple juice and orange juice. But you'll want to be sure you buy juices that say 100% fruit juice, or no sugar added, or 100% pure. That way, you'll know that no extra sugar or syrup has been added to juice. the juice. Yes. It's delicious meth juice. All right, let's, let's get out of here. Um, what else can we check out? We did the Land of Five a Day, which was awful. Um, let's see what HB's body shop entails. <laughs> Getting a round of applause, apparently. Okay. We we going in? I guess I'm... HB, your buddy. I'll tell you <laughs> the, the terrible animation on the finger snapping, though. So listen up. God, this is awful. HP's Body Shop is clearly a gay-owned chop shop. Yeah. Oh, hey, dudes. Welcome to the healthy body section. Yeah, Man, any shop with a rainbow is, like, pretty damn gay. To play and learn, you gotta have healthy bodies. And what we eat is really yes. important <laughs> to our health. We'd like Stick our little me. boys to have I'm healthy bodies. Vegetable. See this rainbow? The colors in the rainbow remind us that fruits with and vegetables pineapple juice. help to build healthy bodies. Eating colorful fruits and vegetables is a super way to get your five a day. Wow! Recognize no, this? Fuck it's it's the no, fuck No, we don't do the pyramid, pyramid again. Each Seriously. Each and every cell of our body needs many essential nutrients, and the pyramid is our guide. It helps us make good food choices. To build a healthy body, you really gotta know the pyramid. Visit Five a Day Land. There are lots of we, parts we to this We went to Five a Day Land. It was terrible. But I'm like Fucking... kind of partial, you know, to the vegetable section. We're gonna section. have to sit through all this shit you again. Need at least three servings of veggies every day. They're gonna hammer it home in HB's gay and body shop. The fruit section is really cool. You need at least two. I I, I miss that creepy dinosaur dude you already. More about how us oh god. And fruity dudes help yeah, I don't think it is the intended use of Egyptian pyramids. This is true. Buddy. You can call him HB. Hey, HB, how you doing? I'm great, and I'm ready to teach the kids why you fruits and vegetables are so important for healthy bodies. I've got a story to tell about my oh, body. No. Just click on a card oh, of my no. body and you'll see. <laughs> um, okay. Um, wait, wait. Okay. Um, I saw that. And you know what helps me see the light? Said a jam Especially at night, poke him in the eye. vitamin A. Lots of fruits and vegetables have vitamin A. Just take a look for yourself. Oh, God. Vitamin A, vitamin A. We're gonna sing about vitamin A. It's good for your body in every way. We're gonna learn about vitamin A. 
stop. Thank fuck that stopped. Every day you should eat at least one fruit or vegetable that is a good source of vitamin A. Have you had your vitamin A fruit or vegetable today? You know, yeah. these guys taste I, um, good. Just with, get to know the them and you'll see that they're fun. No. Um, all right, we'll click on the asparagus. Asparagus is a good source of vitamins A and C. Yeah, okay. Wow, I am a super vegetable. I'm high in vitamin A, a teaching people that you should touch children. C yeah. And fiber. All right, well, let's let's be a bit more daring. Let's, let's touch some nipple. You know, blood is important. It carries oxygen to my cells. And vitamin C works with other vitamins and minerals to help make our blood healthy. If there's something like poop-related, if I, if I touch his um, board short area, I'm going to piss myself off. every day. Let me show you a few of my friends to look for. Okay, this is all vitamin C. All right. Vitamin C. Oh, there's a. We got a song C, first, like. Gotta wait for the song. C, C. This is terrifying as well. Like Check this is out. sentient They're fruit, and a couple us. of these are like. Hey, have you learned the vitamin eviscerating C song? themselves if you learn the so song, we can eat them? You'll be able to name all of these guys. This, this kiwi fruit just peeling off. I have lots of I would have laughed if I clicked on that and it just was just screaming. Ah, you can't eat my skin. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay. That's my tibia. Did you know that? It's kind of neat to know the names of your bones. Well, did you know that vitamin C is one of many vitamins and minerals that help our bones Yeah, we just saw strong? the list. How Apparently vitamin C is good for your blood, too. How many can you too? name with vitamin C? I can show you 13 just for starters. It's one a day from these guys. Which one will you have today to get your vitamin C? Yeah, another... Another... I am oh, high he's... in vitamin C. That's, that, that's good to know. Why are you peeling yourself? I'm world famous because I'm such an excellent source of <laughs> vitamin C. There's only one C, bone in my body that's named. I'm good for you for he's Larry. Too. He gets excited by girls. <laughs> Can you see how strong I oh, am? Oh, oh. Fruits um, and vegetables have vitamins and minerals. We've, that we've already seen too much of the insides of this child. <laughs> Let's see that vitamin gain. Uh, you just show them this vitamins. You're not gonna come up with like, um, no, I've had enough of this. It's just, I'm, I'm, let's not look at the child anymore. Let, let's check out the adventure theater. Welcome, boys and girls. I am Pamela Pineapple. Today, in the I need you to eat me out. We have an exciting I'm good for your body. plan for you. Some of the most popular fruits and vegetables are waiting right off stage to tell you their fascinating stories. So oh, we're gonna have to listen to fruit show. tell stories. Discover the exciting world of fruits and vegetables. Okay. Right, we we gonna click on shit. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> who's got who's got a story here? There is a lot of Oh god, okay. Well, so yeah, let's look at creepy raisin boy again. Oh, what's all this shit that just Howdy. came up, boy? I'm Ray Raisin. Did you know that my friends and I are really dried grapes? Yeah. <laughs> That's the story. I can't wait for bananas to tell me about the Banana Republic and crimes against humanity. <laughs> People have been drying grapes to make raisins since biblical times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The practice of drying grapes began in the Middle East. Yeah. Hey, have a look at this movie all about me. Raisin is the commercial name for a dried grape. The Thompson seedless grape makes the perfect raisin grape. The grapes ripen in the hot California sun and are ready for harvest by September. I, was about, I thought he was about to say, and they're the ready for harvest by Mexicans. Ovens. During this time, the moisture content is reduced from 78% to 12%, but the sweetness and nutrition remain. As raisins, they can <laughs> last on the shelf for up to oh. two years. <laughs> That kid's definitely getting its five a day. Holy shit, that's a chubby baby. Have a look at why I'm good for you. No. Remember back to check out my cousin, Gus Grapes. Bye. Your cousin, okay. Um, so there's all little factoids. But, um, let's, why not? Let's learn about grapefruit. Um. Hi, my name is Greta Grapefruit. The United States produces more grapefruit than any other country in the world. I was uh, in Jamaica. Okay. I was named Grapefruit because I grew in clusters like grapes. 
Yeah, righto. Grapefruit probably originated in the West Indies, but I was brought to Florida in 1823 by a friend of Napoleon Bonaparte. Along with a shit ton of slaves. Yay. Oh, yes. Let's watch my movie together. The grapefruit tree keeps its bright green leaves all year and is called an evergreen. In the spring, the grapefruit has beautiful white fragrant flowers. Like many fruit trees, the grapefruit is not grown from seeds, but created by grafting shoots onto the base of other grapefruit plants. In its wild or natural state, a tree may grow 50 feet tall, but special varieties are cultivated which grow only 15 to 25 feet and make harvesting easier. Grapefruit can be harvested over many weeks yeah, because look at the those right fruit can stay on the tree for a long time. How would you like to live in a tropical <laughs> area and walk into your backyard to pick your breakfast every morning? No, that, that, that sounds like a terrible idea. I'd, just, I'd rather go to Maccas. Thank you. Grapefruit is great. It's high in vitamin C and fiber, too. Just... Have some citrus yeah, fruit I, for a vitamin C we, snack We've been today. at this nearly an hour, haven't we? Jesus Christ. Um, maybe one more interesting thing about... Yeah, we'll watch Mexicans pick some more of these, and then we'll move on. Um, yeah, potatoes. No, oh god. Let's let's hear some factoids about prunes. Sure. Howdy! I'm Perry Prunes. I'm so famous in Yuba City, California, that they have a prune festival every year, where you can taste everything from prune. That, that sounds like a popular attraction cream. for California, the home of like Hollywood and Disneyland. And Did you no, no, don't do that. Come check out the prune festival. To dry plums into Ugh. prunes. Yeah. The French were the first to dry plums into prunes. Many used home ovens to dry the plums. Okay. Great! Let's watch a movie about me. Prunes start out as plums. Prunes are a variety of plum that is grown specifically for drying. The perfect place to grow prunes is in the valleys of California, where the weather is warm and the soil is rich. And there's California lots of Mexicans. California actually grows 70% of oh, the Oh, wait, you're not Mexican. As spring approaches, the plum trees begin to produce beautiful blossoms. The blossoms are then naturally They're going to shoo away all the, um, of bees. the Japanese people It'll drinking under them in spring. before the plums are completely ripe. The plum trees are harvested by a machine Holy that shit. takes the plums off of the trees. The oh, that's, that actually looks pretty cool. I want to learn more about the giant degrees. tree shaking machine. This is where the plum becomes a prune. Can you believe that it takes about three pounds of plums to make one pound of prune? Yeah, I, I can believe that. I'm glad the video cut off, though. Um, let's see what the challenge is. Are you ready for the challenge? Yeah, let's do a challenge. Why not? Whoa. Okay. You are entering the challenge zone. Ah! This is, we're being hunted by fruit. Giant sentient fruit. No. Click on return when you are ready to leave. I don't, can I do that now? This is the oh. fruits and vegetables speak up challenge. In this challenge, you'll have the chance to identify five of the characters. You will earn two tokens for each character you can identify. There are four clues for each character. Select Next Clue or select Idea when you think you know. Yep. You if don't you want, know, Jack. you may skip a character not... by clicking on Pass. Okay. Can you guess who I am? Um, give me All here. right. The next clue is... World's well, biggest fruit industry. Great. Who am I? Um, pictures of me date back uh, dates. No, I that's not who I am. Please try again. Oh, can I just like brute force? No, way? that's not who I am. Take a look. Oh, we only get two guesses. <laughs> Howdy, folks! <laughs> I'm Gus Grapes, and I'm a very popular fruit. I've got autism. I can't look you directly in the eye. Can you guess who I am? Almost all parts of my fruit are used to make me. Um. All right, the next clue is... Replace sugar in many recipes because I am so sweet. Here's your next clue. I am a major ingredient in many flavors of 100% fruit juice. Okay, here's another clue. Hawaii is the only state that produces me. Um, pineapples? No, that's not who I am. <laughs> orgasms. Try again. The answer is orgasms. Um, almost all parts of my... Oh, probably apples or oranges, maybe? No, that's not who I am. Take a look. Wow, I am terrible at this challenge, though. 
Hey, I'm doing pineapple juice. Did you know I that today, on pineapple, pineapple juice is a major ingredient in many flavors of 100% oh, fruit juice? No, that's... <laughs> Can that's you terrible. guess who I am? I'm at least, I want to at least get one of these. I've been grown in gardens of Asia Minor in the Mediterranean. All right, the next clue I is... I came from wild cabbage. Here's your next clue. You have to protect my head when growing me. Oh, this is a big cauliflower, I'm presuming. Okay, here's another clue. My name means cabbage flower. Okay, cabbage. Hang on, is any of these... Are, 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 you, are you cabbage? Um, no, that's not who I oh, am. Oh, no, the cabbage Please is there. Again. Yeah, all right. It's that's cabbage. one token. That only gets me one token. Hello, I'm Courtney Cauliflower, and I'm a member of the cabbage family. I, I hate all these fruit. Let's, let's get it. Do you want to leave the challenge? Yeah, let's, let's You've earned off. one token. Click on the ribbon to see your awards. Oh, okay. Here's your token summary. Remember to update your copy. Uh, Click I'm on return when you are ready to sorry? leave. Sorry? We earned... Oh, no, I'm not doing any of this. I don't want any, even what rewards we get for any of that. Let's, let's not do that. Um, I guess we're checking out the salad factory to finish up. No. We have heard from far and near. If you like fruits and vegetables, then they are good for you. <laughs> guest Welcome vocals by factory. Dolly Parton. Click on the bowl when you are ready to get started. Talking produce, am I on the piss? You know, I, this, these are all terrifying. Um, in our factory, you can make salad, your own salad. We're going to toss some salad, kids. And vegetables help uh, make a uh, super uh, salad. <laughs> oh, God, we, we actually do have to make salad. I will help you learn to make salads that are high in vitamin A, vitamin C, and fiber, and low in fat. Click any food item to get started. And I'll show you how to make your salad. Or you can choose the demo. Oh, we get a demo reel of how Have to make fun. salad? Okay. Um, all right. Well, I'll, I'll leave it to you guys. What are we, what are we putting in our salad? Um, I might start. I'll, I'll see if we can put some lettuce Iceberg in there. Iceberg lettuce. Oh, we can... One tong of iceberg. Click the add lever to add this item to your salad. Um, what's the, what's the colors do though? Colors do nothing. Okay. Um, let's add it. Adding one tong of iceberg. Lettuce is a good start. Yeah, it's usually always a good start for salad. Um, so it's mixing your salad. <laughs> the mixing the one leaf of lettuce in the little machine. That's not what we made. Really? <laughs> your salad is low in fat. Yeah, great. You have made a good salad, but you might want to go back to the factory and try to make your good salad better. I bet you can. <laughs> Put in some roasted pie nuts. Yeah. I mean, like, it's got to be better than the one leaf of salad we just your put in this. Your salad equals one half this servings salad? of your five today. Would you like to return to the salad factory yeah. and use another salad? Let's, let's or do make you want salad. to head to the cafeteria? <laughs> My dick in a box. Yes. This is, this is perfect salad ingredients. Um, all right, Here back to the go. factory. See if you can make a super salad. All right. Well, let's play by the rules, make a good salad. Now let's let's put in healthy salads and then just cover it in ranch. That'll that'll work for me. Click any food item to get started. All right. Well. Iceberg lettuce. We have to wait for all this shit though. Um. All right. So we'll put in. Adding one tong of iceberg. Yep. What kind of sick fuck that puts raisins in a salad? Yes. It's, it's kind of terrible Adding for a salad. And also grapefruit. Why are we putting any fruit into this salad? Oh, because we can make a fruit salad, I, I presume. Okay. Um, so what do we also have? Yeah, we got to have some Caesar salad. No, we can't even have Caesar. What, what are our options? French or ranch. And they're either regular or non-fat. Okay. Um... 
What would I have in a salad? Gotta have some spinach. Spinach. Yep. Got five spinach leaves. Oh, this is a this is a good thing to have in salad. Low fat, lots of vitamin C, Adding lots of fiber. Five spinach leaves. <laughs> oh, and that spinach. Yes, cancer yes, half a yes. serve. Settle down, darling. Holy shit. She no, she she loves us at spinach. Let's give Adding it the spinach, five boys. Spinach leaves. Oh, she's not as <laughs> sweet for the orgasm noise again. Um, all right. Cherry Let's tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. Also high in vitamin A and C. Adding two cherry tomatoes. That's that's all that's in the fucking salad. Just two cherry tomatoes. What would a salad be without tomatoes? Not much in the way of a serve, though, is it? Um, radishes. Radishes are pretty good. High in vitamin C. Okay. Adding two radishes. They really want me to add some fruit to this thing, though. Cause... Go ahead, spice up the salad. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, we're not going to be sick fucking putting raisins. Um, pineapple, Canned I suppose. Canned pineapple. Okay, two chunks. That's all we're having. That's all Adding that's going in the salad. And apparently pineapple. not high in any of these. We need some fiber in this. I need some healthy poops. You are poops. going to have a sweet salad. Yeah, great. Um, the salad is almost as disappointing as finding out Santa wasn't real. What kind of salad would it be without tomatoes? This is true. Got to have some carrot sticks. Adding four carrot One of the many sticks. fucking varieties that don't have tomatoes. Also. Everyone loves carrots. Yeah, carrots are pretty good. The only good cherry tomato is a sun-dried tomato. Yeah, I, I must admit I do like my um, sun-dried tomatoes. Um, is this cauliflower? No, I, I'm not a fan of cauliflower. Um, what else we, do we have? Okay, we had spinach. Broccoli. Suppose we can have some broccoli. Yeah, we need that fiber. Adding two broccoli florets. Um, yeah, probably. Good for you. Broccoli is great. Still not a server buddy thing, Green though. pepper. Yeah, we'll go some cal capsicum. Oh, it's high in vitamin C. Okay. Green pepper. Yeah, no, I fucking love peppers. I knew but, you would add that yeah. pepper. Pepper really is great. Yeah, great. Um, orange. Maybe some orange. Two orange sections, sure. Adding two sections of orange. So we've been... we've. This is a very expensive Good salad. Because we've got, like... Just, you know, we put in two sections of orange, so we've got, like, two-thirds of an orange left. This is just all going to sit in the fridge. Strawberries. Yeah, just going to sit in the fridge and rot Adding like most of the fruit I eat. That's why yum, I get... Yum, uh, yeah. yum. I've had carrots sitting in my fridge for a month because they just, they keep. They're pretty good. Um, Cantaloupe. Yeah. Bit of rock melon, why not? Because I'm a freak. This is a freaky ass salad. chunks of cantaloupe. Yeah, that's a good point. Are they cooking the cauliflower and or broccoli? It doesn't good seem news. like they are. You like cantaloupe. Yeah, all right. Cauliflower. <laughs> Savage fuckers, yeah. Yeah, raw Adding cauliflower just... Cauliflower florets. Nah, that's, that's pretty disgusting. And raw broccoli. Raw broccoli is, is so not much. good. Dude, this, um, okay, I'm glad we're giving this... Uh, Orange. This salad orgasms. Right, Adding yeah. two sections of orange. Yeah, need some more orange. Gotta get that fiber. Yep. And we're still not at the five a day. We've added like all this other shit. Still not a five a day salad. Let's let's lettuce. go some more lettuce. The hopper is full. Your salad equals all five servings of your five oh, a day. Oh, we we've you done our five your a day. Now. No, fuck that. I'm putting some. Uh, what do we want there, guys? French or ranch? I am just. What's that? Oh, I'm trying to remember the Chris Rock thing. Um, where they're getting the, the, the salad tossed in jail. And there's like. Oh, what was the. Yeah, I can't even remember the fucking joke anyway. But I'm going to put some ranch Regular on this. Regular ranch dressing. Fuck that low fat shit. Get in there. <laughs> it's just going through the pipe. One tablespoon of regular ranch has eight grams of fat. Yeah, let's chuck it in. Adding one tablespoon of regular ranch dressing. 
portion, eight grams. Come on, we can have fucking two tablespoons, surely. You're not going to let us add more ranch? The fuck Adding is wrong with you? There we go. Of regular ranch dressing. Yeah, you're not going to be able to coat all this shit with like one tablespoon of ranch. There we go. <laughs> Your salad is now high in fat. Would you like to remove some salad dressing? Click the remove lever to remove some salad dressing from your salad. How are we taking salad, salad, the ranch, out of this, though? No, fuck that. This is, this is a fine. This is, I, I'm happy with this salad. I'm going to toss that salad, baby. With, yeah, awful lot of fruit in this salad. But that's all right. We got our five a day. We're just also fatties. <laughs> we got to analyze this fucking salad, too. Your salad is high in vitamin A. Bing. Your salad is high in vitamin C. Bing. Your salad is high in fiber. Yep. Healthy poops. Oh, uh, okay. This is a great salad. Okay, I bet uh, that's you fine. Can make a real salad that is just as great. But your salad is high in fat. <laughs> Would you like to return to the salad factory? I like that little addition. It's like you've made a great salad, but it's high in fat. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Your salad equals four and three quarter servings of your five today. Yeah, that's still that's good enough. Surely, let's uh, let's serve this shit. Send it off to the cafeteria. Oh, and we, <laughs> we've been ranked on all our stuff. Your salad is great. You are a great salad maker. Yep. Oh, nothing. No, no your mention of Your salad ranch. contains broccoli, cherry tomatoes, oh, you read it? cauliflower, Okay, no, this is autism reading it all out again. Canned pineapple, spinach. Carrots, iceberg lettuce, radishes, yeah, fucking judgmental. Mini, peppers, oranges, regular ranch dressing. We yeah. hope you enjoy your salad. Yeah. Salads are a great way to get your five a day. Thanks for visiting our factory. Come and see us again. <laughs> no, get out. Stop using all our ranch. Will you try the challenge? Yeah, I'd like to know how they're taking the ranch out as well. Yeah, like everything was in like the machine to be mixed into a salad. Like how do you, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. This is, these are questions that need to be just unanswered, I suppose. Because, yeah, I've I've had enough of this game. It's terrible. Do you want to leave the program yeah, let's, now? Let's get out Remember of it. to update your token summary. <laughs> the witch, burn the witch. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death Death Sandals. <laughs> 